in terms of uh, the, the public support when it comes to the elimination program that we've got into now, Doc, um, are, we, are we seeing the, the, the public helping? Because, I mean, at the end of the day, if you give somebody a net and the person is not using it, you can't go and force the person in their homes. Yeah. If you're giving somebody a medication or maybe even spraying, or you give the person the spray and the person does not even spray the room in the first place, mm. we'll still have a problem with that. Mm. So elimination will be difficult. But what are we doing to ensure that the public gets to understand where we are? Yeah. This is the statistics. This is how we're looking. If we do better, we can get better. Yeah. I mean, you are right. We cannot eliminate malaria without individuals owning the fight. Mm -hmm. you know, so we need to get everybody on board to agree that this is the opportunity for us to eliminate. I mean, how do we do it to people like you? Mm. You know, if you help us engage the people, telling them what the right information is, sleeping under the nets, all the interventions available, yeah. and getting them to believe. I'm sure you have a lot of followers on social media. Yeah. Get them to buy into the agenda and then do the right things. Um, we also do a lot of community engagement mm. through our NGOs. Um, we do engagement through the religious leaders. In fact, this, today's meeting, you're going to have the Office of the Chief, of, uh, Chief Imam, uh, the uh, Christian Council, Council, all of them will be coming. You know, because we believe that this thing cannot be a Ghana health service thing. Mm. It has to be the whole country and individuals have to own it. Yes, over the years, we have issues with people not sleeping under the net. Yeah. If you look at the proportion of those who own nets, as against those who use it, so there's a big gap. Mm. So <laughs> we, so yeah. we, 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 we tell people. Some even gladly receive it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Using it as a president is the problem. Yeah. The person will make you understand that, oh, yes, I need the net. It's some fight for it. Yeah. But the We've excuse seen that they usually yeah. give is it, it, it causes more heat. Yeah. If people have come out with that too, as well. Yes. Yeah. You know. so, but these are people who gladly to took it, it yeah. for whatever reason. <laughs> we, we, I mean, we, we try to analyze the data on this. And it's true. One of the reasons they gave is that we hit. And yeah. we, we tell them that we have types of nets. We have what we call the polyethylene <laughs> nets and the polyester nets. Okay. Right? And so when we understand that that is one of the challenges, we move away from the, the, the poly, uh, ester, polyethylene nets, which usually c could generate a lot more heat. Mm. And okay. then we try to supply more yeah. of the polyester nets. Okay. The other thing is that, you see, we always tell people that you have to, if you have to choose between sleeping naked under the net mm. and getting malaria, which one will you go for? <laughs> oh, <that must> be. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep naked under the net <laughs> and just prevent malaria. <laughs> oh. You know, so so it's a, a, I mean, yes, yeah, it's, it's a it's a it's a key thing, and yeah. we try to work around it. But in the event that you even get a net, or and you see, we also realize that usually it's the position of windows. Uh, how we structure our building sometimes mm. already there's a lot of heat in your, in your building and then you end up attributing it to the, some of the nets we have around but let's try as much as possible to use the interventions available mm, 